The command to go is coming your way in just a matter of moments. Green flag. And they are off. Tanner Faust again making a move. A lot of congestion up front. Sandell, E6 at four wide, almost five wide into turn number one. Who's not going to make it? And Sandell got punted out of the way. Topi hiking in is your leader. How did Topi come all the way through all that mess and end up <laughs> way out front into that second challenging corner? Amazing move. That was incredible into that second corner. Yeah, and, and hiking it very smooth and uh, obviously very confident after a couple of wins. Munich, New Hampshire said he carried a lot of confidence into Bristol. He also said it brought a lot of pressure because people are expecting him to perform at a very high level, which is what he's doing right now. Meanwhile, behind him, things kind of spreading out. Isakson holding down the second spot. Steve Arpin, kind of surprising. He's holding down the second spot. Wasn't sure there for a moment as Isakson came through the joker. Steve Arpin's done well. He's been very consistent this year. He's just kind of always in the hunt, and uh, his time will come. He's new to this sport, and he's he's learning it really fast. Look, there we've got an onboard over the jump. Look at that air. Love it. Folks, just a reminder, Sports Center coming on immediately following our broadcast here from the Bristol Motor Speedway. We're in the middle of our final for Global Rally Cross. And Ken Block, he's been great throughout the course of the week, Jim, but he's got some work to do. He does. Toppy has a pretty substantial lead, and that fight now um, that Ken is in, it's going to be hard to challenge him. Hitting the jump, making his way over it. And we've got problems for Steve Arpin. Arpin had been so good. What a disappointing end to his day. And that's him pulling off. You're not allowed to bypass a feature and continue, so that is it for Steve Arpin. But there's Toppy still way out front. Working lap four of ten. Down through the chicane, up through the tabletop, over the jump, ever so smooth. And it looks like he's actually spreading the distance between himself and Ken Block. Ken Block, though, we've seen, seen him make up differences of this uh, in the past, and uh, certainly no reason to count him out now. And we just saw Ken Block going past what looks like Tanner Faust stopped on the side of the course. Ken was in seeding when they were running laps on their own, a second a lap faster than Toppy. Maybe just has enough time to catch up. And he may need all that time here if he wants to reel him in. Tommy's been perfect. I mean, extremely smooth. Hasn't missed a beat. A great line through the corners. On, on board now with uh, Tanner Faust and more problems. It looks like his day's over as well. But there is Toppy still out front. But as we saw at the last round, it ain't over till it's over. And he's got to keep his yeah. head together until he gets through that checker. Yeah, folks, if you watch New Hampshire, you would have said Tanner Faust had that old thing wrapped up. But if you had turned the channel 30 seconds from the end, you would have missed a great finish because, uh, as it turned out, Topi Heikinen capitalizing on a miscue by Faust. So that certainly could happen here. Uh, Ken Block hoping to see a bit of a miscue that would allow him to close the gap and challenge for this victory here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Toppy working the top angle of the banking, the 30 degree part, and coming right down on the apron and through the uh, gravelish area, over the jump, and unfazed, very smooth. And it's tough, Block is trying to close this gap and it's not really coming together for him. He's been so fast here, number one qualifier, um, a second faster in seating, and yet he's he's making little bits, little moves in some portions of the track and then Toppy just pulls away. And Toppy just took the joker as well. Didn't, didn't change anything. He's still got a significant advantage over Ken Block. This is shocking considering how Block, how good Block had been to this point. Yeah, you see the gap has narrowed a little bit there, but Block still has to take that Joker lap, which is a couple worth a couple car lengths, and that's about the difference that he's closed up. Um, he's going to be trying to put the pressure on for as long as he can and see what happens. And there we're looking at uh, Sandell's car. Yeah, uh, a little the worse for wear as it slides through that turn. you got to go back to find the action because the top two drivers have checked out from the field. Sphera Isakson it looks a little bit off the pace there as the field goes up underneath him. And uh, Topi lapping, lapping people here on this tight half-mile course. That could be That's good how for good Ken he is. Block. Absolutely. That's going to be good for Ken Block because when they get caught up in that traffic there, that slows Toppy down and gives Block a chance to climb back as we are in the final lap. White flag is out. Ken Block catch him working their way through the chicane, up through the banking. 
Topi working the middle groove and now diving down to the final chicane, setting up for the jump. Checkers are out. Topi Heikinen wins his third global rally cross event in a row. And Ken Block in number two and number three look to be so very easy in there. That will be the first podium for him this season. And just pure dominance by Topi Heikinen.